All right, guys, this one might hurt a little bit. We're going to retouch on the concept of implant design. And a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video regarding uh, a comparison between BioHorizon's new deep conical seal and their shallow conical seal, which was the one they've had for nearly a decade or so. And I had some comments in the comments below, and they basically didn't understand what we were saying about the main benefit with regards to these two different types of implant interfaces. So what I've taken the liberty to do is create some models so I can help illustrate the most important advantage with the deep conical seal, and it might not be what you think. So let's start with this. I have a, a model here of your traditional shallow conical seal. With a shallow conical seal, you have a conical seal which represent is represented here by this red region on the top, okay? The gold part is the hex. The hex is the indexing device. It's what allows us to have timing on our implants, okay? So the red part is the shallow conical seal. They recently came out with their deep conical seal. Now, with the deep conical seal, do you see how much more red is here? That's the deeper conical seal part. The gold part here is cams. So instead of having a hex for the indexing, they have cams that slide together. They do the exact same thing. All right, so what does that mean when it's time to use the implant, okay? I said, I said last time that we were doing a video uh, I said to you guys that the shockingly most important thing with the deep conical seal is the ease of use. It is not the strength. It is not stronger than a shallow conical seal. Okay, it's not. Here's why. Here's a shallow conical seal implant. Here is an angled multi-unit with a hex on it. I'm going to insert this inside here. Now, in order to do that, I cannot be off axis. I cannot and I cannot get this to go in no matter what I do. This will never go into this hole unless I have a perfect line of insertion, a path of draw. It has to be perfect. In addition to it being perfect, the internal hex of this and the external hex on the abutment have to be timed right too. So if the timing's wrong, no matter how many times I do this, if the timing's wrong, it won't go in. So I have to do this and then I have to rotate until it aligns. Once it aligns, once it aligns, what happens is, is the 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 line to line fit here allows me to push it in, and then the conical seal seals around the edge. So that's how we traditionally have been using these angled multi units for like an all on four in the posterior. Now, enter the new player in town, the deep conical seal. It has. In the gold region, the three the, the three cams that in, interface with the six cams and in the inside. But watch this. Without even engaging, I'm going to set this over here so you can see this. I'm going to hold this directly above it. It's about an inch away or 25.4 millimeters for you Europeans. And I'm going to drop this. Guys, it just self-centered. Okay? It just went in. It, it Not only did it go in, but it actually sealed. It actually engaged the cams, rotated, and fell into position. You cannot do that with, an, with a shallow conical seal with a hex. You cannot do it. So the first time I used this with an angled multi-unit on an all-on-4 kind of solution, all-on X, and it went right in within a second, I was shocked. And the reason I was shocked is that no one talks about this feature with a deep conical seal. And it is by far the single most important thing. It's easy to use. It just falls into place. This could take, you know, maybe a minute or two with the shallow conical seal. It could take a minute or two to get this to work uh, on an all on X case. And, and if you add that up time, say six implants, you just added maybe a six to 12 minutes to your surgical time. This takes seconds. So I really want you guys to understand that the, the ease of use with a deep conical seal is where the main advantage is. And for those of you that don't understand the concept, and I, I've said this multiple times, between the difference in the strength, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring together my two, my two products, okay? And when I bring them together, I'm going to hold them up. And what I want you to note is that if you can see in the camera here, we'll try to punch in close with the, with the editing, on this side here, there is a lot more material, right? On this side here, this is the shallow conical seal. There's more material. On this side right here, there is very little material. There's very thin walls here. And thus, the problem is this. If you ever have an abutment screw become loose, 
the minute it becomes loose with a deep conical seal, there is a gap that runs along the entire interface. It's like when you have two red Solo cups. As soon as you get them, they're stuck together. As soon as you get it loose a little bit, it's loose a lot. It, it wallers around. That's a Southern word. It wallers around inside of the other cup a lot. And what happens is, is if you have a deep conical seal with a, with a very thin wall and the abutment becomes loose and the patient doesn't know it and they bite on it, they break the thin wall. That's the mechanical difference that you need to understand when you're thinking about these implant designs, okay? So what do we do to prevent that? If we're gonna use a, a, shallow, a deep conical seal and we're going to make the wall thinner because it has to be thinner, what should you do? Well, it should be obvious to most everyone watching is that perhaps we could use a stronger metal. And if we use grade 23 medical grade titanium, we can accomplish what we want. We can have the ease of use of the shallow of the deep conical seal, and we have the strength because we're getting about 36% stronger using a deep or uh, using a grade 23 titanium. So guys, I hope that helps. I hope that helps to clarify the main advantage of a deep conical seal is the fact that it's extremely easy to use and I'm really enjoying using that new product. This has been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley. If you found this information useful, please give us a like, subscribe, and share with your friends.